A little bit over a month ago now, I made this video on the best of Survivor Legs Humble Bundle, and a few days after that video came out, I had stumbled across Halls of Torment Prelude, which is just the free alpha slash teaser version of this game, and I loved it. I mean, yeah, I did just buy eight other Survivor Legs, but I was completely hooked. I played it for about five hours or so, completing all the current content, and then I added it to my Steam wishlist and moved on. Well, fast forward to now, I was fortunate enough to not only receive a key for the full release of the game, but I was also able to play the game about a week early. I've already sunk about 22 hours into the game, so I could unlock and experience most of the current content the game has to offer. So, huge thanks and shout out to the devs for that. One last thing before I finally start talking about the game. At the end of that Humble Bundle video, I made this tier list for fun, so I figured I'd go ahead and update it real quick. Alright, there we go. Halls of Torment is another one of these bullet heaven, horde survival, survivor-like, I mean, whatever moniker you want to give it. It's releasing in early access today on Steam for a whopping price of $5, which is pretty much the standard price for this genre. The game has plans for future content, but down here on the Steam page you can see roughly what's currently in the early access version. From my experience as of writing this video, pretty much all these features have already been achieved and some even exceeded this, except for the last two playable characters which are currently not unlockable in the game, but they might already be added by the time the game fully releases. I was actually surprised by how much content the early access release already has. I mean, I was expecting more content than the prelude, sure, obviously, but I assumed like most, it was going to release an early access with a little bit more content, and then the rest was slowly going to get added, but no, there's a lot of content to be found here already. So what do I think sets Halls of Torment apart from all the others? Well, the two biggest things to me are its really well-made art style, and the unique but heavy forms of meta progression which I'll touch on in a minute, but first let's talk about the art style. The game has a really nostalgic old school pre-rendered art style. Think Diablo 1 to Diablo 2-ish. There are only three maps currently in the game, but there are a ton of different enemy types and bosses and attacks and animations and... Unlike some of the other survivor likes, everyone has its own unique visuals and effects. There are still times where you notice a few models that are kind of the samey, but they each have their own unique identity. To me, the art style isn't super next level or anything, but it really stands out, yet still feels nostalgic to experience at the same time. This might just be because I've played through so many old school ARPGs though. Alright, so about the meta progression, this game is very heavy with it. I mean, it's not really done in a bad way, I actually quite like how this is implemented despite usually not liking it when it feels as needed as this game. Basically, you have your standard upgrades that you find in most of these titles for your stats like movement speed, pickup range, damage, health, etc. Then you have quests that you can complete to unlock more items traits, abilities, new characters, all that good stuff. And then there's the biggest power creep of them all, which are the items themselves. Eventually, you unlock the ability to retrieve the items you find and then buy them for gold to be able to take them into runs whenever you want. You have a full gear loadout consisting of a helmet, boots, gloves, body, two rings, and an amulet. When you first start to play the game having no items, no abilities, you're going to have a very hard time completing your first run. I mean, it's damn near impossible to complete it on the first try like that, honestly, unless you get very lucky. But it's not that the game is super difficult or unbalanced, it's that in order to survive an entire run and kill the boss at the end especially, you have to pump out some serious damage and you for sure will not be hitting that consistently or even at all without some items and at least a few unlocks but to me this is kind of the part i like the most about halls of torment it feels like i'm collecting items to build my character in an arpg overall certain items can make your runs a lot easier yeah but this is where you can make some really fun combos like if you want to focus on summons or fire damage or crit or you know whatever you want to do once I have the items unlocked, I can set up a character pretty much however I want to without having to rely on too much RNG. Okay, for this part here, I was going to list all my negatives about the game, but nearly everything I was going to say has already been changed in a positive manner. So instead of complaining about outdated information or finding something to nitpick, I'll say this. If you're looking for a game to revolutionize this genre, I don't think this is it. I mean, I don't even think this genre is old enough for a game to do that yet. However, Halls of Torment is a definite top 4 pick for me. If you're looking for another survivor like to fill the hole, or you're looking for a fun game to spend 5 bucks on, then you really can't go wrong with this one. Overall, I'm excited to see what the game has in store for the remainder of its early access period, and I'll be continuing to grind out these last few achievements I need for my 100%. Thanks for watching this video. If you like these types of videos, consider subscribing. I'll probably have my next one out in about a week again if I can. And just to plug it here again, if you want to watch some funnier short content from the games I'm playing, check out my second channel at UpChicken. I already have over 30 videos uploaded over there, and I've been uploading about three per day since I still have a lot of old clips I want to upload. And uh, yeah, goodbye.